Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today I have something different for you in the store and that is a dilutions folio and this is part one. And this is the first page of the folio and there will be more parts coming because if I put everything on YouTube it all in once it will take too much time and the video will be too long. So more more um, videos will be coming of this project. Okay, so page number one. This is um, Calypso Teal with one of the new colors, Indigo. And Indigo is the replacer for the After Midnight paint. And I hope that there will be a ink from it as well because I love it. I love the color. And I'm using the small first dots stencil, which is which is discontinued, unfortunately. And I'm using a small tropic stencil as well, which is still available. Just a little bit more calypso teal, I think. Oh no, this is not a color. This is the tree bark. You see, I was right. A little bit more teal. And now the tree bark will come. And this is the Otis Orb stencil. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my working space. Very important to me <laughs> and next is choose the another stencil the stitch in time stencil I'm just going to use the dots as you can see I have been reorganizing my stencils and it works so much better I can just flip through the stencils without them being ripped or being stuck you know, so yeah, it's it works. It it's a perfect system for me. So some black marble. Oopsie, and the other side as well. And from the top and bottom, I will use the same stencil, but the small version. I always like to clean my stencils right when I'm after when I'm finished because it's easier to clean. I should get a duplicate of this stencil as well because I'm using that one so, so many times. Who else buys a second pair of stencils that you really, really, really like? Okay, so this is the small stencil, the stitch in time. Oops, <laughs> there it went. The blending tool. Okay, so now it's time to do the doodling. So, I have a lot of Tim Holtz stuff that I don't use anymore, especially Tim Holtz Halloween stuff. And I am thinking of selling it. So if anyone is interested, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I will make a video of it and I don't know I'm just thinking about how to sell it because I prefer that someone else is using it and, and play with it then it just yeah you know it, it just collects dust and it's sitting in a box and not being used and that's not that's not right <laughs> Okay, so these are the images that I'm going to color and the stem sets that I've used are the Just B, the Curious Corrine, plus the Puppy Dog Tails and Down in the Woods. 
And I will use mainly warm colors because the background has been done with cool colors. And if you do the images with the opposite colors, then they will then it will pop more. And I'm starting off a Tangerine Dream. Oh no, sorry, this is not Tangerine Dream. This is Cherry Pie. I never liked Cherry Pie. I, I didn't use it quite as often, but. At this point, I am so in love with cherry pie. I really like the color. It's it's pink to reddish and it's just pretty. So who else has a pencil addiction? <laughs> I am saving up for the Caran Dash Luminance Pencils and why? Well, I have the Caran Dash Neo Colors too, which I totally love, but if I look at the Durant Pencils, it's like the Durant Pencils have like a gray filler in it. The, the, the colors are pretty dull in comparison with the um, Caran Dash colors. So I'm like, hmm, okay, I better keep on saving and buy my favorite pencils that I really, really want to have instead of buy something that I am not that fond of, you know? And I also have the Durant Color Soft and Intense. I'm not using the Durant Color Soft at all. And I am going to sell them as well and I also have the polychromos of the Faber-Castell brand and I love them. They are very hard pencils but um, they were my first pencils ever and the reason why I love them is that the point doesn't break. I can't deal with pencils if the point is very breakable. It's so frustrating and no, I, I rather have a little bit um, harder pencils that I can work with um, instead of pencils which are too soft and keep on breaking even when you are trying to um, what's the name sharpen them yeah so yeah it's like hmm you know it, you have to choose and I rather choose for something good Okay, maybe it's a little bit more expensive because I know the luminance pencils are pretty expensive. But yeah, I rather have good quality pencils than having something that in the end you won't use and you're like, oh man, why did I buy these? <sighs> okay, so this color is pure sunshine and the light pink is rose quartz um, yeah so I'm a real pencil I have real pencil um, addiction it is what it is and the problem that I have as well is when I buy something I want to have the whole set I'm not like oh I just take like the basics no I have to get the whole set from A to Z, you know, the biggest one with all the colors. Like if I don't have all the colors, I'm like, I'm just know that I, yeah, it, you just miss a lot. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's just the next addiction. Yeah. Um, okay. Back to the coloring. This is the Funk Fuchsia. And about the head, about the uh, curious Korean head, I had to do it like three or four times before I was happy with the end result. I've messed it up so many times. I'm like, ah, no, this, I, I don't have enough patience to let the ink dry. I think that that's the, the main problem. So I just have to have to be more patient so that the uh, ink will not um, run. 
I don't know what I'm having today. It's like I can't find the words. Okay, this is some squeezed orange. I don't know how many videos there will be coming of this project. This is some melted chocolate. And um, the folio doesn't have that many pages, but I want to decorate and make some flips, flaps and extra tags and extra little thingies uh, inside the journal and on the cover. So it will, I think this is going to be a, um, a pretty big project for me and I and you know me I'm a slow crafter so <laughs> I hope you have the patience and in the meantime some other film uh, YouTube videos will be coming uh, as well like doodling and uh, things like um, um, gel printing and um, collaging there are a lot of things coming your way, but the editing just takes so much time. And I hate doing voiceovers. And, but I do think that voiceovers are better than putting on music. That makes it a little bit more personal, I think. And if you don't like me to talk, <laughs> just turn off the, the the volume and just watch, you know, problem solved. Okay, these are some other colors. This is Dirty Martini. For the stem and some Funky Fuchsia, Tangerine Dream. And cherry pie again. You know, a lot of people are using the Tim Holtz brushes, like Diane herself. But the Diane, the, um, the Tim Holtz water brushes are so expensive. They're like 10 euro per brush. And I'm like, there are more over 30 colors of dilutions inks and that will that means that I have to spend over 300 euros to buy a brush for every color no <laughs> I'm going to stick with my um, with my brush and what I like about the brush is that you have different sizes and also the thin one which can give you um, easier which will be easier to color the little details. I like this color combination, Funky Fuchsia and Cherry Pie. Yeah, see, there it was. There it is, the Dirty Martini. And that's done. And on to the next. I think this is the last trial or the last try and I'm using vanilla custard which, uh, which I have tinned with a lot of water Here's a little update about my little guy Chico who got attacked a few weeks ago. 
He is doing very, very well. And he's back to his old self again. And I'm so grateful that he hasn't has any problems with the body marks. So we got very, very lucky. But yesterday when I went out walking with the dogs, I came across, I um, went to my neighbor who's a very nice guy and his dog and my big dog are like um, best friends. And he told me that there was another dog in our street who was attacked by the same dog who attacked my dog. And they were not that lucky. So um, the biting was pretty intense and they had to go to the vet. And I feel so sorry because this is not necessary. People, please, in public places, keep your dog on the leash. You know, it's not that hard. And it's, uh, it, as a matter of fact, you n you're not even allowed to have your dog loose so if you want to have your dog like uh, free free walking go to the park where it's allowed go to places where he can walk free you know don't bother other people with your dog and the second thing that i want to say is train and socialize your dog like this dog when he was attacking my dog his owner um Thank God she did re, um, act it accordingly with pulling her dog off of my dog. Because uh, the thing was that she was walking with two other guys and one of the other guys was having a pit bull XL. Be if that dog wasn't around then I could do so much more because I have also two dogs. And I know that if I would have let loose my other dog he will go after that pit bull. And that's not a good plan because he wanted to um, protect his little brother and um, I couldn't do much and so I'm grateful that that woman um, helped and she t uh, took her dog from my dog and there's no correction there's no um, nothing no consequences of this behavior and I'm like these are the type of people that never should have have this kind of dog. You know, some people just never should have have kids because they don't know how to raise them. You know, it's it's like dogs. And of course, you can't compare kids to dogs. But if you raise kids like shit, you will get shitty grown-ups. If you raise your dogs like shit, you will get shitty dogs. You know, it's it's... It's common sense, you know, it's, you have to train your dog, you have to socialize your dog, you have to um, do things with your dog to make it a pleasant dog, which can be around people, kids, and other animals, you know, if you don't put the time in it, then you just don't have the dog that you would like, because don't think, you know, all those Instagram and TikTok um, films that you see, uh, like the, the Belgian Malinois, you know, like that they can uh, do certain things. Do you really think that they can do it in just one minute or a couple of minutes a day of training? No. These kind of dogs are athletes and they are being used. Um, the police like to use them, not for just um, any reasons, but they have the re police have the reasons why they use these kind of dogs. You know, and if you are a lazy person who doesn't like to be active, don't get a Belgian Malinois. Don't do it. Just don't. And um, I love water collies. There's also another shepherd dog that I really, really like. And in Dutch, they call them Schipperke. I will post the link down below on a video, um, down the video. And the Schipperke is the smallest shepherd there is. And this uh, breed it has not a lot of... Um, it's not a big dog. It's like a small... It's bigger than a Chihuahua. And it's like... 
uh, little boomer dog and it's black but they are also available in white and um, they are small but they have the character of a Belgian Malinois they are so so smart and so um, they, they have big personalities and you, if you can't deal with it don't take a dog like that and my my niece has like three of those kind of dogs and they are probably raised and trained socialized the whole thing and they are the best dogs and um yeah and it's just you have to do your research before you take a dog you know golden retrievers and labradors they are really family dogs but you, you 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 have to put in the time and the effort you know it's not just like oh look at uh, what the dog can do on on tiktok films no it, it will take hours hours weeks and months to t- to train a dog to become like how he, how the dog is today you know it, it it doesn't get born like this no so yeah you have to Take it in consideration that if you take a dog, um, do you want a dog with full energy, high energy, or do you want a more laid back dog? You know, it's, and think about the fur and think about his, the dog's needs. And yeah, just think about all those things and be honest to yourself. You know, shepherd, a German shepherd, I love them. I love German Shepherds, I love the Belgian Malinois, but those aren't the dogs for me. And simply because I don't have the um, personality that will that those kind of dogs need. So um, I stick with my Border Collie and I stick with my uh, Schipperke. And that's that. Okay, so the page is almost done. And I'm just outlining the images with the black Posca pen. And I am choosing, I will be choosing some bug chat stickers. And then page one, the first page of the folio will be completed. Okay, the quote will, is saying, of course, your opinion matters, just not to me. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching and listening to me babbling on and on and on about a bunch of different things. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you at part two. Bye bye everybody. Happy crafting. Bye.